Hello folks, it's Driver Films on the Driver Film Shortwave channel and today is going to do a quick video on how to program frequencies into the Uniden UBC125XLT scanner. Now there are two ways of doing this. The first one is to manually plug the frequencies in by hand. The second way is going to use in ARC125 which is a uh, a program you can download from the internet, you get two banks free with it, then you pay £20 to unlock all ten banks, but in all honesty you might only just need the uh, two banks. So this video we're going to do it manually, so let's switch the scanner on. Now I've already got some frequencies programmed in, so that's why it's saying scan mode locked. So to program frequency in, choose your bank, press the hold button and what we're going to do is we're going to program a frequency in now I've not got a frequency list to hand so I'm just going to make one up off the top of my head so dial it in using the keypad so one two three decimal nine six zero press the enter button it will give you the option do you want to save the frequency yes or no so enter for yes decimal for no. It will fill up this menu. Let's just zoom in a bit more. And you use the adjuster at the top, the control at the top, sorry. Move it down one to enter tag. Press enter. So let's say this is any airport frequency, so you would Turn the knob at the top, right or left, to select the letter you want. It goes capitals, lowercase numbers and characters, so... Just in this. And if you want any spaces, just keep pressing the right arrow. If you make a mistake, move it to the left. And you can make an adjustment. Press enter when you're happy with that. Set C, T, C, S, S or D, C, S. That is, if it picks the tone up, it will lock onto it. Just that again, set modulation. That will come automatically, so there's no need to adjust that. Set priority, and um, basically what priority is, if you've got, let's say, five frequencies programmed in, put priority on, on, on that one, and it will give that top priority. It will keep searching that one first, then it will go through to the other ones. Set the delay, so that's how many seconds after the transmission will it keep that frequency open. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 10, negative 5, 0. Press enter. Unlock all the channels. Yes or no, unlocking channels. Basically you can lock it down to just a handful of frequencies or you can have it unlocked to scan everything. You can delete the channel. It will beep at you twice. Enter for yes. Uh, that's all for no. Clear the entire bank. So everything in that bank will be wiped. And press enter to exit. And there you go. That is the simple way of programming a Union and Bearcat EBC125 XLT scanner. Now hopefully if I can get the screen record to work I'll show you how to plug it in using ARC125 program and here's one of those god awful jump cuts ok folks we have the ARC125 software uploaded I shall leave a link to this in the description and right now I've connected my scanner up onto the PC and on the screen it's just it's holding one frequency I've already programmed in so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the frequencies I've already got in and then how you import new frequencies. So I'm going to press the 
read button there. Wait a few seconds while it loads up. And this is going to download all the frequencies I've programmed into the scanner. So I don't think I've got anything past... Um, I don't think I've got anything past bank 7, but I'm going to read from the scanner anyway. Um, where it says USB port, you can select it. But I've got it clicked on auto detect scanner because I've got I've got four USB ports in the front of the computer and it has various things plugged in. But I don't bother. They click read from scan it. And then it will scan the USB ports to see if you can find the scanner, which it should do. There you go. It's found it and it's going to start reading all the channels and all the banks. So let's give that a few moments. Now we can have a nice little jump cut here just to move the video along a bit. So as you can see it's read all the frequencies are programmed in from the scanner. Uh, while it's doing that your scanner will see something like keypad locked. Don't worry about that, it's just because it's reading from the scanner. As you can see I've got all these frequencies inputted in. I've did these uh, manually, I use the UK scanning directory but obviously other sources of frequencies are available. Uh, there we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select an empty bank. I use I use bank ten. Don't know what to do with that. So what you can do here is you can add, you can delete, etc. So we're going to so go bank six. So that frequency I used um, earlier. Not what is? But we're going to make one up. So click on the frequency box. Enter the frequency one two three decimal. Four, five, six. Click on where it says Alpha Tag, and you just get to name the frequencies. So, Drive Films, Shortwave, Tower. Well, let me put the full in. You're limited to characters in there, so we call it Drive Films Tower. Click on Mode. You get some options up here: AM, F, FM, Near F, Now FM, sorry, Wide FM, FMD. Sure, what that is. Click it to auto. PLL, that's to do the close call stuff. Delay time, which we talked about earlier. Lock out if you want to lock the channel out. And priority, that's what we talked about earlier. And you can, you've got plenty of space to put as many frequencies as you can. It's, it's 50 frequencies per bank, and you've got 10 to play with. Uh, with the Basic version of ARC, you only get a bank one and two, but you pay twenty odd pounds, and you can go up to bank ten, which is quite reasonable. What you've got the option of? You've got the option of saving it. And it's not going to let me open at the moment, but it it saves in a file. So what you can do is you can program the frequency in. And if your friend who lives close by has the same scanner, you can just send them across to him and he can upload it that way. Now what we're going to do is we're going to press the send button. Then it will bring this box up. So we don't need to let's just click all of these. Because we've nothing in bank seven. Three bank seven. Anyway, then what you do is press send to scan it. And it will send all of that information back onto your scanner. So right now it's um, looking for the scanner. It's found it. Your scanner screen would read remote mode, keypad lock. Again, nothing to worry about. It's just sending all the information to the scanner. Okay, and all that information has been sent to my scanner. Alternatively, and go there's the uh, RSF files, so you, you can send the, you can email these over to a friend if you wish. Alternatively, you can use a website called Radio Reference. I've not got an account, but that's basically what it is. It's a whole list of frequencies. Uh, you've got American ones, European ones. There are not that many UK ones, mainly uh, amateur radio repeaters, but 
most of the information you need is going to be online anyway. So go into Google if you want frequencies for Manchester Airport, Manchester Airport frequencies. Plenty of free information out there. There's a UK scanning directory which has a hell of a lot more frequencies. Um, tells you what. If you dial a frequency, it'll tell you what it is, or you can search for a frequency that way. So hopefully this is going to be some use to somebody. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Um, just remember this is just a basic overview. I'm not going to go straight into ARC and setting up different modes like the uh, close call mode on the scanner at the moment because I need to understand it more myself. Anyway, if this video is useful to you, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and 70 fees.